In this video, I'm going to take you step by step how I created this water splash resin sculpture and it is not difficult. Just follow the steps. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm going to do a resin splash sculpture and I have the largest ring here and I have another one off to the side, which is slightly smaller, but, and I'm going to do exactly the same to that as I'm doing to the one that's in the screen. And the reason I'm not putting both in the screen is I've got extra large cellophane over. So I'm going to show you what I've done so far. So my setup is I use cellophane, you know, the type that you would, I guess, wrap up like gift baskets. And the reason I use cellophane, it is super shiny. It has no creases. And it comes out of the molds like really, really easy. And if a bit does get stuck in one of the folds, it, you can burn it and it just kind of melts and disappears. So these ropes are underneath the cellophane. And you could use a plate, but I just prefer the ropes. It just gives you more flexibility to, you know, I don't want a perfect circle. I want them kind of higgledy-piggledy. And the colours I'm using are um, Ranger's Eau de Piscine, which is swimming pool water, Pinata's Baja Blue, and this is Ranger's um, Cobra, uh, no, Sailboat Blue. And then I am going to put some white around the edge. So I've mixed my resin. Now this is take two because yesterday I started filming this and it was a disaster. By accident, I mixed quick dry resin. And at first I thought, oh, okay, well, this could be interesting. I'm just gonna pop these bubbles on the surface. Don't use quick dry resin for resin bolts and I'll tell you why. I'm just going to pour this in the middle, let it spread because it was a disaster. I like basically lost so much resin. What happens is it takes, it dries in about three hours, which is great. And um, I'm not a fan of quick dry resin, but what I like it for is like a base coat on something because it dries quickly and then you go over with like your regular resin. Um, then suddenly it starts drying really, really quickly. But it's the center that dries really quickly and the ends stay runny. So what I was finding was the center was hard and the ends were runny and I couldn't manipulate the center over its standing form. So it was hopeless, absolutely hopeless. And I mean, I made a weird kind of bowl out of one of them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, anyway, we shall see god knows one day maybe i'll show you if i manage to save it when you're doing the heat gun over this remember it's on cellophane which is super delicate but i am using oh let me stretch the shower curtain underneath because even though the cellophane sorry you can't see this off camera but even though the cellophane doesn't have creases it will pick up the creases from what's underneath. 
like the shower curtain that's sitting on. But the um, alcohol inks have alcohol in them and that helps pop the bubbles. So this will take like four and a half hours to set up to the point where I can place it on a, you know, it's mold, it's um, form to make a nice drip. And I've made so many of these and they're so successful. And also the ink doesn't do this on quick dry resin. It just sort of stays in a blob. I'm just gonna do this one quickly. So I'm doing both at the same time. Sorry, I know it's frustrating, but when I come to put them on the form, you will see. All right, that's the Baja Blue. This is the Eau de Piscine, which is a really pretty delicate color. And I'm not worried if it goes over the edge because it won't be used. I want to cover the whole, whole surface. So I used so much ink yesterday because the, the little one was a disaster. So I made it again. It was even worse the second time. But not today. A new day and this is going to be a success. You wait and see. This is going to be beautiful. Okay, and then I'll leave that lid off. And sailboat blue, which is a bit darker. Maybe I'll give it a shake. Yeah, these three blues go so well together. All right, so you learned something help from, helpful from me regarding these. I learned, you're always learning. Definitely learned my lesson yesterday. I made something else with this quick drying um, resin. And it was awful. What did I make? I can't remember, but it turned out so badly. Because you really don't get a lot of working time. It starts to thicken almost immediately. And within, I don't know, 40 minutes, you can't really work with it anymore. I haven't tried it in molds, but it's much thicker. That's the one thing I did notice. It's much thicker. I'm gonna put some white around the edges and I'm hoping that's gonna look a bit like surf. And then I'm gonna take the heat gun to it. So I've got my pinata blanco and I'm gonna apply this with a pipette. only have the large bottle and I'm hoping the heat gun will spread this out. Yesterday I had to use a um, like a toothpick because it was it was setting by the time I got to this point and it wasn't moving. All right, let's try this heat gun. Oh, 
Alrighty, heat gun. those white blobs around. around the other side. All right, I hope my big head wasn't in it too much. Now, I'm just going to put a blob of blue in the middle of those. And because of this is meant to be like the shoreline, I'm going to put the Eau de Piscine in it because it's the lightest blue. I don't mind if there's some clear actually in there because it looks more like water, but I'm suspecting this is going to spread. Like that. That's fine, it has like an outline. Okay, fingers crossed. I'm going to leave these four and a half hours and then we'll be back and put them over their form. Okay, now I can put it over the form. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the rope from under each, um, you know, piece of my wave. There's that one. And this one over here, I hope you can see. Yes. Slide out. And what I've done, oh, you know what? I'm gonna put some gloves on because this can be messy. You're out of gloves. Um, I have my form here that I'm going to drape it over. And I have fastened this to the table with duct tape. I've also fastened a glass to the top of the bottle because from experience, I use these tall bottles because it gives the form a chance to kind of drip down. From experience, the darn bottle always falls over. So, gloves are on. Um, let me move this a tiny bit, sorry. I won't make you seasick, but I'm standing on my cellophane. Here's the first one. And I only actually left this. Oh, it's stuck to it already. I only actually left this for four hours. Put the resin everywhere. Let me move that out of the way. But it is the perfect consistency. So I'm going to break that. That's a bit more centered. I'm not too worried. Cellophane sticks at this point because I can take 
my torch. Oh, see, bubbles trying to fall over, but it can't. All right, so is my heat gun plugged in? Just warming up the edges. Okay, now I'm going to take the second layer. Stay. See, it even tries to fall over. Even when I take the darn thing. the second one is on, you can arrange the cellophane however you want. Now I've got a feeling this is not going to drip. It is going to make a very nice glass sculpture. I'm going to take my gloves off. So I came in, this has been 4, 4.30, it's 8.30. I came in about 20 minutes ago and I was debating about whether to put it over. And so I may make another one tomorrow and do it quicker like see if I can get it really drippy um, but let me try my heat gun again that's that done not going to worry about it again tonight and um, tomorrow I will take it apart and I will make another one and compare them side by side. So, good night, everyone. Good morning. It's a beautiful sunny day today. Well, I came in this morning and I was really not expecting this to have dripped at all. But I'm pleasantly surprised. It did drip. So, I'm going to take it off its form. I really expected to have to do this again. So let's lift it off its form. It comes off really nicely. Let me move my form out the way. There, drop the blind a bit. Okay, so let's see if I can get this glass out straight away. There's the glass. Ooh. Now I've got to get this layer off this layer. some of that off. This always takes a little bit of manipulation and you can do the two separately but I find if you do that it doesn't always fit snugly back again. So here we go. One 
last plug. All right. So those are the two bits of cloth. I'm going to take all the cellophane off each. Remember, the cellophane is on the inside of both. And comes off very easy. Do you see how shiny the cellophane leaves it? And other materials like the plastic this is lying on, I use that sometimes, but you don't get it as shiny. If you get any areas that it's just stuck on, if you take a heat gun, it just shrivels and goes to nothing. So you don't see it anyway. Let's see if I have an area like that. This seems to be coming out just fine. I don't know if you can see that. You see. You see that one little area? Let me get my heat gun. And you'll see, it's probably really hard to see. If I take my heat gun, see, it's gone. It's literally gone. It just disappears. That's another reason I love this stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get all the cellophane off. And then I will be back and we'll reassemble the sculpture. Okie dokie. That's a fiddly bit, I have to say. So I'm glad I didn't put you through all the filming of ripping out all those little pieces. And there were some tiny areas that I zapped with the torch, uh, which was easy peasy and some little sort of cling-ons that I got rid of. So now it's a matter of putting them together. And so it's deceptive. I thought this would not drip. Oh, I've got to find out how I, how I did this. That is it. And this is still going to, because you see it's flexible still, this is still going to set solid. There we go. That's it. That just sort of clicked in place. So I think what I'm going to do is resin these two bits together by putting just a blob of resin on the bottom. And because it's got a round bottom, I think I'm going to do like some a watery base for it to sit on. So it looks like it's kind of coming out of the water. And then once that's done, I will show you the finished result. And I think for the watery base, I will use the quick set resin. And the quick set resin for gluing the two together. That's the kind of thing the quick set resin is good for because you want to, at this point, just get it finished. So I will show you the finished results in a few hours. Everything is finished. I'm gonna bring you in for a close up and I probably should have the light behind me. I think the dog is going to start barking, so apologies. Here's the stand, which I made out of a coaster mold and wanted it to look very watery. And let me see if I can go all around it. I wish I could have it on like a rotunda kind of thing. I shall move around. better. Yes. Let me turn it around. There. 
So, I hope the video was helpful and you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.